happy plant Wednesday um, this week we're gonna talk about um, how plants can kind of boost your mental health and how um, they can how I've found them helpful um, to have around so plants um, have been a very good source of like keeping um, like anxiety and like depression lower um, this has been shown through um, studies because when you have a plant and let me pick one up here you have to go through and you have to understand the needs of each of your plants um, because there's so many different varieties so this guy is a cactus so he's gonna need more sun um, the aloe um, can go anywhere from like more sun to um, some really bright light and this is a taco peperomia and uh, that kind of goes along the same lines as the aloe um, so you have to like be able to keep in mind like what the needs of your plants are so that motivates you to like get up and get going because these plants rely on you um, to get up every day and to take care of them because they're not growing outside and don't have that constant regulation of like being able to get stuff from the soil on their own. Um, they rely on you to give them nutrients sometimes, um, definitely to water them and to make sure that their soil is still good. So that kind of is a motivator for you to get up um, every day and make sure that everything is going well with your plants. Um, I personally have a lot of plants. Um, I don't think it's necessary that you have a lot of plants like for it to boost your mental health, but um, just having like one or maybe even two, because um, it's very intriguing to kind of like watch them grow and like see how what you're doing is helping them or hurting them. So, um, it kind of keeps you constantly um, on your feet. So, you have to always be checking to make sure your plant is good um, because otherwise, you know, that's like money that <laughs> wasn't spent well. Um, so, I think that's it's very like, Im like a very useful tool to have like a plant around um, if you struggle with um, even like a little bit of anxiety. Um, I think that that can be like really very much like a booster in making sure that you have that balance um, in your life. Um, it can become a little bit stressful, you know, if you're like struggling a lot with plants, but I think that like keeping them alive, but like I think that um, like remembering that like plants, sometimes you have to try and try again. Um, I've had some plants that I've had for a little bit and they just, you know, they just die. And I mean, I have a lot of plants and I have a lot of plant knowledge um, at this point, but when I started, I didn't have that much at all. Um, I've had to learn over time, like, the different needs of plants and um, what each of my house plants kind of likes for it to grow. Because a lot of times when you research these different plants, um, they don't always like the same things that they address um, online. It's usually similar, but sometimes it's not the same because not everyone has the same sort of lighting and um, temperature, different things happening. So you kind of have to learn for yourself um, how each of these plants kind of grows in its environment. And sometimes you get like hiccups. So let me show you one of my plants that I've been kind of struggling with a little bit. This is an aloe, and he's been growing really well. Um, I've had him for a really long time, as you can see. He was actually painted when I first received him. So, but what happened was, over the years, he kind of got this bubbling. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yep, on that leaf. It's kind of bubbly. It's not like thick and smooth like a lot of these new ones are. Um, not really sure how that happened. Um, he's been getting a lot of water and some different things. He's not really stressed um, at all, but I moved him out of the sun um, and stuff. So sometimes you just have those plants that are doing wonky things and you just don't know what's happening, but 
I mean, he's growing and thriving. I think that each plant is like, you have to remember that each plant is a, like an individual, like an individual person. So sometimes we have our wonky aloes and it's okay, you know. Um, they, you know, he is happy being a wonky aloe, so I don't know. I just kind of give him what I think that he needs and we're going to try to figure out what's happening with that rippling. I've researched it and I still haven't been able to find anything yet about why he's that way, but we're going to do some work on him and see how that goes. But if he stays that way, then it's, you know, it's fine. Um, like I said, you know, sometimes we just have wonky plants. Um, I've had plants that, you know, ended up thriving really well and like get really big and stuff and then we end up having setbacks. Let me show you all my purple heart. So this guy, I like started from like two sprigs and what started happening was that he got super long so I had to like spread him around the pot. Um, but a lot of times when you like will cut these guys, a lot of the leaves towards the base will end up dying out. So I got like stressed and I was like, oh no, like is my whole purple heart gonna die that I just replanted? But no, you have to be patient and you have to go through and remember that sometimes these plants, you know, they need a little bit of time to bounce back um, and be their, you know, best selves. So, um, Patience is definitely a virtue um, when you're working with plants because sometimes you'll do things like, for example, with ferns, like if you forgot to water your fern and it got dried out. Sometimes he'll bounce back if you give him some water and you wait like overnight. Next morning, he's back up, he's good. Um, other times, you know, you'll forget to water. I had a creeping fig that I forgot to water, it ended up crisping up. I might have to probably buy a new one um, because I forgot about him. But that's okay. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, and I think that a lot of times when you're working with plants, you kind of learn those life lessons and you can apply that into other aspects of your life's life. So I think that it's really important um, to um, pick up on those lessons that you get from owning a plant and like seeing how um, taking care of a plant kind of influences you personally. I think it's all about like a personal journey and um, understanding that like you have to be in tune with the plant so you also have to kind of be in tune with yourself and understand your needs um, mentally and emotionally which is something that we all have to work on every single day and we're not all perfect um, that's for sure but um, it's just something to work on over time and I think having something to work on over time is always good. I'm very much a driven person and I like to go out into the world and like work on different things. I'm currently getting my master's. I still have plans, <coughs> sorry, after that of going back and doing other things educationally. Um, so I think it's always good to be kind of driven and stuff. And I think that owning a plant, you know, you can start off with something easy like an ivy, you know, and start off from there. And then you could work up to maybe owning, um, what's a hard plant that I have? Uh, probably an agave. If you have an agave, they're kind of finicky. Um, so working up to there, you know, so that's a harder plant versus an easier plant to own. It's just like, you know, me working, you know, through high school and then having all these ambitions to go get my masters, you know, just applying these different like little things um, that you learn from having plants in your life, I think can be very um, helpful and useful. And I think that's very much um, important to stay in tune like with your plants and stay in tune with yourself. So that's my little, um, talk for today. I thought that would be something um, nice to kind of address because um, I think that kind of explains how I got into owning plants. Um, so I thought that might be something kind of useful to um, talk about this week. Um, next week we're going to go over, I went on a trip with my friends and my boyfriend um, to Asheville and we went to um, two plant stores and I got some 
as goodies. Um, I'm very selective right now with what plants that I get because we're a little bit low on some space in here and then we're a little bit low on space upstairs so I'm very choosy um, but I'm really excited to share that with you all and I hope you all have a fantastic week and you take some time for your mental health. Maybe go out and buy a plant and have a great week guys. Happy Plant Wednesday. Bye!